Hi everyone, it's Agatha from Simply Grow and today it's a quick video about mama guilt. I know uh, there is dad guilt as well, parent guilt, but um, we all know what I mean. It's the kind of feeling that um, happens when you become a parent and um, from perspective of a mom being a mom myself, I know that it can creep up on you on a daily basis and if you let it get too deep into your head if you let it um, bring you into that spiral of negative thoughts it's quite difficult to get out of it so today i'm going to share with you a tip from a podcast that i listened to recently that i find very useful and practical and easy to use so the podcast is called unruffled and it's by janet lansbury and in this particular episode she was chatting to amazing and um, susan david if you don't know susan david find her on instagram i'm going to post the handle in the description to this video and watch her ted talk as well very very inspirational but in the chat um to uh, ladies who are talking about the guilt that we often feel and the fact that it always tries to communicate something to us so the fact that you um are feeling guilty doesn't actually mean that you are guilty it's just the emotion that you're experiencing and every emotion that we experience is trying to signpost us to something that is at the core of it our core priority our core value so if as a parent as a mom you feel guilty because maybe you feel like you don't play enough with your child or you don't spend enough time with them what is at the core of it um, one option is that you really care about your child and you want to spend more time with them that's why the feeling of guilt so try to think what you can actively do to bring you closer to that core value so if you want to spend more time with your child play with them more incorporate five minutes to start with that is going to fulfill that need and it's going to make you feel better about yourself at the same time going to give your child that quality um, interaction with you but please don't feel guilty about not playing with your child enough and um, nobody does it all the time all day every day i don't and important thing to remember is that our children need to learn how to be bored as well they need to know how to play by themselves as well as with someone else so in every day there has to be balance between independent play structured play but also that moment when you know, i'm actually as an adult i'm not sure what we're going to do next what should we do um, from the perspective of a teacher, I know how frustrating it is for children when they go to primary, secondary and there is a moment when, do you know what, it's actually boring, but what are you going to do? Are you going to go into disruptive behaviour and try to annoy people around you? Or do you have those little tools in your toolbox to know what to do when you're bored? And we have to teach our children that. It's very, very important. Um, and simply just talk to them what you're feeling bored now what can you do what are the options help them through it because it is possibly new um new emotion new feeling so they might need your guidance through it tell them what you do when you feel bored um, and definitely it's going to be a fantastic life lesson um, another thing to say is that we often feel guilty whenever our children are unhappy or frustrated or sad or angry it brings the guilt that maybe there's something that we have done um to cause that emotion and again it's an important thing to bring yourself back and remember that our children need to learn how to deal with a range of emotions nobody is happy all the time that's not how life works and it's important to know that when you feel sad it lasts for a period of time you're going to be sad about something for 10 15 minutes but then you will notice that you're going to um, get out of that state, feel happy, feel calm. The same with happiness is not going to last forever, but it is very important to um, prepare our children for different emotional states so they can deal with them when they're older. Very important for mental health. Um, so whenever the guilt, mom guilt, dad guilt, parent guilt creeps up on you again, try to stop yourself and think what is at the core of it and remember always always be kind to yourself respect yourself first and if you do that your child is going to see how to be respectful towards themselves as well uh, remember you are your child's um, first and most important influencer so whatever you do is going to be their way of dealing with um, emotions and different situations in life no pressure <laughs> 
but definitely be kind to yourself and if you do have experience of um, parent guilt let me know if you do have any tips on how you deal with it to share with others please do i would use <laughs> some advice too uh, but just remember that um, when you scroll through instagram feeds of um, different people and they post a nice activity they do with the child it doesn't mean that this is what the day looks like um all the time every day and um, so the last thing you want is for that feed to bring you down so whenever it does ask yourself why and i'm sure that when you get to the bottom of the problem it's going to be easier to solve it okay i hope you found it useful bye